I got my ticket for the long way round. Right now on my Goodreads currently reading list, I have seven books. And actually, that might even be not all the books that I'm reading. That's way too many books. Why do I have seven books on my shelf when I am dipping in and out of them? I don't know about you, but that drives me crazy. It drives me crazy because I think, why can't I just pick up one book and then put it down and pick up the next book? Well, for me, the reason is because I read things on my iPad, which is an ebook. I listen to things on my iPod, which of course is listening, and then I will read things in print. So let me just go through these books. I'll tell you what they are, and I will make a decision right now whether to DNF them or not. In print, I'm reading Underworld by Meg Cabot. This is the second book in the Abandoned trilogy. I read Abandon a while ago. I, I'm pretty sure I listened to it. I picked this up in print from the library because I didn't like the narrator. Now, this is very common for me. I will very often put a book aside because I don't like the narrator and I think, mm, I need to read that in print. So I picked this up in print and I'm about halfway through and I like this book. So what I need to do is sit down and read the book. Just read it and nothing else. It's hard for me to sit down and read a book because I, I'm active all day long. I'm doing stuff all day long. That's why I listen to audiobooks. Need to finish this book. I'm not going to DNF this one. Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. This book I'm about halfway through. I started it on audio, did not like the narrator, and so I switched over to print because I own this book. Because I own this book, I'm going to DNF it for right now. I have another shelf on Goodreads, which is Gave Up For Now, Read Later. This book is going to go on that shelf. I like it well enough. It's an interesting story. I like the characters, but I don't love them. There are other books I want to read right now, so goodbye, Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Maybe I'll get to you another time. I can because it's on my shelf and I own it. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. Okay, two things about this book. First of all, it's literary fiction, and I don't read literary fiction very often because I, I don't, I like YA a lot better. I know it's about girls in a family who all commit suicide. Okay, I deal enough with depression in my life that I'm going to have to be in a very happy place in order to read this book. No, I feel kind of guilty about this because so many of my friends on BookTube especially and on Twitter, they read a lot of literary fiction. And I feel like the, you know, person who's like not as smart as them because I don't read this stuff. No, gotta DNF this one. Gonna try not to feel guilty about it. Matilda by Roald Dahl. No, <laughs> I own it, it's on my shelf, I'm DNFing it. Maybe at some point in my life I will pick it up again to read to a kid, maybe. Oh, this is a hard one. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have been this far through this book for months. Haven't taken it off that list, the currently reading list, because I want to, I keep thinking I'm going to get back to that. I don't know what it is about the world of Harry Potter, and maybe it's these first couple of books where he's very young. I don't care. I don't care. I know that makes me a terrible person because it's Harry Potter. But, you know, I think you really have to want to invest yourself in this universe, this world. And I don't want to right now. Maybe I will at Christmas time. Maybe I will another time. But there are just too many other books that I want to read. And I know it's always going to be there. So this is going to have to go on that. Put it aside for now and maybe later shelf. I've got all the Harry Potter books up here. So I have them to read anytime I want. And my youngest daughter has said, I'm not talking books with you until you read Harry Potter. So, okay, but I don't, it's just not for me, at least not right now. So I'm going to DNF this one. So that just took one, two, three, four books off my currently reading shelf. I'm also currently reading on audio, Unraveled by Jennifer Alban. I just started this. It's the third book in the Cruel World series, and I want to listen to it. I really do. I want to finish that series, even though I've heard that I may not like the ending. But that's just one that I think I want to be committed to. I've committed to the series, and I want to get it done. So that one I'm not going to quit reading. So that's going to stay on the list. I'm also currently listening to The Young World by Chris Weitz. 
Now the thing about this is that it's on my iPod that I use when I swim. I haven't been in the pool for, I don't know, a week. So that's a week that went by that I was not in that world with those characters. And I'm not terribly thrilled about that world anyway. I didn't really love those characters anyway. Now I'm within about an hour of being finished with it. So I'm gonna give that one last session in the pool and then if I'm not finished with it, it's going out the window. I just don't care. And when you don't care about a book and you're not in it constantly, desire to come back to it, just lessons and lessons and lessons. So that's on its last legs. I may DNF it. I've also just started The Retribution of Mara Dyer, which is the third book in the Mara Dyer series. It just came out. I have it as an ebook on my iPad. I like this book a lot. It has gripped me immediately and I'm hoping that I will sit down and just read it like in an evening. When I have an evening to read it, when my eyes are not falling shut because I've had a long day, I don't want to DNF that one. So I'm gonna leave that one on the list. So I think I've narrowed it down to each device. I've got a book in print, which is Underworld. I'm half done so I can finish that. Mara Dyer, I want to do that. The two books on audio, I'm going to do those. I know I'm going to do those because I'm always doing things where I'm always listening. Okay, do I feel better? Sort of. It's hard for me not to compare myself with all the people that I know and love on YouTube and Twitter who read literary fiction and classics. Dickens is not for me. How can this be possible? How can this be possible when it's a classic? It's dense, it's wordy, I can't get through it quickly. I don't like the way he deals with depressing subjects. I don't like the characters. I know, it's terrible. I feel like a terrible person because I don't like these books when they are so amazing. Which brings me to another point, I like YA. I don't want to have to work hard to read a book. I have to work when it comes to literary fiction. It takes my attention, it makes me have to concentrate now it's not that I don't concentrate on YA, I do, but it's fast paced. It's written for people who are in a generation where they have information coming at them all the time. The TV, the internet, your iPod, your iPhone, you know, everywhere, people in general. I think I'm kind of that way. I just want to get through a story really quickly. I want to thoroughly enjoy it and I want to be happy as I'm reading it. I want it to pull me in and grip me and then leave me. So literary fiction doesn't work for me most of the time. Yeah, I feel bad about that. I feel bad about the fact that I don't like high fantasy. It's not my thing. I don't like really technical sci-fi or really out there sci-fi. YA sci-fi? Yes. That kind of sci-fi? No. I feel terrible that I am an adult and not just that, but an older adult who likes YA. It brings me to that article that was written last summer about, you know, adults shouldn't be reading YA. That weighs heavy with me because I think I sh maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that makes me, you know, shallow in some sense. Really? We like the genres we like. We like the books we like. We like things we like because we like them. And... You know, there has to be that point where you say, I know my friends love this kind of thing. I know this excludes me from some circles of friends that I wish I were not excluded from. But I can appreciate their likes and dislikes and they can appreciate mine. And I need to stop feeling like I'm less of a person or less of a reader or less of a scholar or less of an intelligent person just because I read what I read. I like reading what I read. I like it. That needs to be enough. It really does. I need to be able to DNF a book without thinking too much about it. And if I come back to it later, maybe I'll love it. Maybe I will. We need to quit feeling guilty about DNFing a book because it is not to our liking or our taste. It doesn't say anything about the author. It doesn't really say anything about the book other than the fact that it and me just didn't click. Hard thing to remember, easy thing to tell everyone else. If you're a person that does not have any trouble with this, I would love to hear what you think and I would love for you to encourage me to stop feeling guilty. And I feel good about the fact that I just DNF'd four books.
Let me know your thoughts. I really would love to hear what you think about this. So that's it for now for me, and I will see you next time. I'm Thanks gone. for watching. I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk. You're gonna miss me by my taco. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone.